yo, yo, yo. What is the business? What we got going on? <laughs> With the dilly. Because <laughs> you, you looking over here still looking that way. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. This is your boy DJ Talent. <laughs> and I am the host of The Real. The Raw. And the, the motherfucking, motherfucking rugged. You did, you did. And we just getting back into things, man. This is our second show back for the new season. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. dig? Yeah. If you got a cup, you know, put that thing in the air and take you a sip. <laughs> Guess what we sipping on, y'all? <laughs> Some Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no drinks today. No uh, other than some Coca Cola and oh some God. water. You did. I know that's right. I know that's right. I need me a drink. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, man, for real. I man, need me a drink. Look, look here. The Atlanta <laughs> traffic is fucked up always. Oh my goodness, always. So man. we did have to start a couple minutes late because of Atlanta traffic. Yeah. Let's just say yeah. it like that. Yeah. yeah. Atlanta traffic and Atlanta oh. GDOT. Mm. Them some bitches don't know how to fix shit. No, they always do it on the weekend when everybody got somewhere to go. And man, they, they start on Fridays. Why? Right. Uh, rush hour right. traffic. Right. What the sense does that make? Dumbest shit ever. Ever. But we're going to move on from the, uh, the Atlanta yeah. traffic. Yeah, we here now. We here. Well, well, this thing started. I'm not in the building by myself, of course. Mm-mm, to my right, I have. <laughs> Where I am? There I am. <laughs> Listen here. This, this lady who I know. <laughs> this is her favorite, y'all. I'm in the house. She can't never running get it together. Shit. <laughs> I got a lot of things doing at one time. <laughs> <laughs> and to my hat. Ha- oh, what? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, what happened? Hey, hey, I think this Coke then turned into some rum or something. <laughs> oh, got my man. tongue stuck. <laughs> but to my left, I have none other than the. A Derrick King. Uh, yeah, that's we, me. We, we, we need some uh, some some uh, sound effects. For that. <laughs> what? Well, you supposed to be having the, the thing? Uh, hold on, about? man. What, 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 what? He, he what went kind of sound? Too. What kind of sound effect you gonna put on me? Say what? <laughs> <laughs> I said D. Derrick King. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> How about wonk, wonk, wonk? Oh, that one? Okay, well, I'm going to give him that one, too, then. She told me to do it. Everybody got to hate him. She she told me to do it, She told me to do it. (laughs) Well, you get shot up with that one. Hey, I'm good with either one of them. All of it going to make me shine. Hey, man. What's up? We in the building, man. Yes, finally. Yeah. we, we, We Man, look. We had to deal with some traffic. We had to deal with some peoples and all that type of stuff. But, hey, we still here. Yeah. We still alive. Mm-hmm. And it's early in the morning, too. Yeah. Well, oh. technically, no. It's an afternoons now. It, it's still <laughs> early for some people. <laughs> you ain't lying. Some, some people don't normally get up until 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I ain't saying no names, dear King. <clears throat> Shots fired. What that one? <laughs> I got that one right there, yeah. Let me, let me see if I got one of those. Oh, boy. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah. We got, we, go. we, we, we got it. <laughs> shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> no, you should just have some shots firing. But anyway, oh, go ahead. Oh, watch out, keep, it, keep it moving. <laughs> nope, that's that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So today we're going to be talking to Derek King, Derek Thomas. Yeah. Whatever you want to be called. <laughs> we're going to be Derek. talking to you about you your your acting career. Okay. Okay. So uh, tell us a little bit about you before we get into the questions. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, um, I'm just Derek. I'm Derek King. You know, I, I started out my career as just Derek. So a lot of people know me from being just Derek. And the reason why it came up about like that, like uh, – I've been an entertainer all my life. Okay. And so uh, it started at a very, very early age when I was at, uh, I was in first step. And the first play that I did, that was before I was in, went to elementary school. I played Martin Luther King okay. in a play. So like, it was already in me from the very beginning. So I branched out and started doing acting, started doing singing. 
then I, well, singing is kind of naturally too, because of my grandfather. <clears throat> so that's that was all, you know, brought down. And then I eventually got into the acting, and so I loved it. You know, like stage plays, things like that. I love it because it's like you get the instant gratification. You know, it's nothing like being on stage with the lights all bright, so you can't see people, but you hear people reaction. Right, right. Whether, you know, when you know you're trying to make them laugh and you get that laughter, uh-huh. it's like, all right, all right. <laughs> Hopefully it's a laughter. If you get They're that cricket boom. noises. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> but no, nah, I've never failed in that category. When I, when I, when I come to get them, oh, I get them. Mm-hmm. I get them. You don't get no tomatoes, do you? <laughs> no, no if you get the rotten tomatoes, that's supposed to be good, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I haven't got, got some tomatoes and I haven't got threats after plays. So like, that's when you know you're doing something good. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, hey, uh, that was a character. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I'm not on it no more. This is Derek. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I love the entertainment industry. I love <laughs> being in it. So that's a little bit about what I've done, you know, um, like I said, I've, I've, I, from elementary school to middle school, I've always been in plays and stuff like that. Okay. And been in a couple of movies, got kicked off a couple of sets. Wasn't my fault. Mm. <laughs> Why you saying like you that? got kicked off the set, there's something wrong. No, you no. better look in the mirror. No, well, see, the thing is, they were saying that, you know, the extras can't talk to the stars and all that. And I'm cool with that. But it if the, if the stars talk to me, then what I supposed to do? Not say that? Well, shit, talk back. Exactly. It is what it so is. So they was just basically saying I was doing too much. I was too extra. I was The extra was being too extra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they put your ass on the extra extra then. Yeah, they were like, uh, uh, sir, we need you to stay over here. Do not move. I was like, okay. But then they came over and said, how did they mean? Like, Yo. And then I'm going to tell you what really put it over the top. Now they told us we couldn't drink. We was at the club now. We was in the club scene. Right? We were in the club scene. They told us we could not have anything to drink. Okay. Fine. But when you have somebody so beautiful and fine offer you a drink, <laughs> <laughs> well... After that, I was like, well, you know, and that's when the director came up to me and he was like, well, you better be glad we don't have nobody else right now because I will put you out. And I was like, well, at this point, I'm all right anyway. <laughs> you should have told, huh? told her to bring your water or something. Man, I just, I, man, look. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, see, so, man. yeah, you needed to look yourself in the mirror and say, why did I get myself kicked off the set? Well, you know, again, I just you said, um, thank you, but no thanks. They don't want us drinking, but I do appreciate it. Yeah, but see, I was goddamn water. I was already drunk off of the looks of her. Whatever she said she wanted to do, I was like, okay. This, <laughs> I mean, this nigga simping. <laughs> <laughs> you simping, man. I'm simping, hey, look, I'm t- look, it was what it was, man. That was that was that was an old time. That was like ten, fifteen years ago. Of course, I've matured since then. Hopefully, I yeah, have. good, good. All right, so you recently rapped on a project. Can you give us the name of that project and also tell us a little bit about the project without giving the mm. all of it? Okay, yeah. So we did brotherly. T- I did brotherly love too. The revenge. And so, you know, first of all, I just want to say how professional the whole set was, the uh, the directors, the cameramen. Like, like I've, I've been in different situations and different, um, been on different sets and things like that. So I like to look and see how the crew is doing and things like that. So I thought, first of all, it was very professional. It was great. Uh, I played the role, the character. It's not really playing because that's really me. I'm Uncle Jay. I'm that ride or die crazy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm about my business. Okay. You know, and uh, you don't, of course, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I do. Y'all had to figure that out on your own. But let's let's just say half of it ain't legal. 
<laughs> well, how I come into the play of, of, of the picture, my nephew, you know what I'm saying, they did some things, this lady named Queen, who's gonna get dealt with, we gonna see, I'm gonna see about her. <laughs> It ain't it ain't over with Queen yet. Queen is a writer, so I don't know. It ain't <laughs> over with yet. <laughs> it ain't over with. But basically, you know, I found out that my nephew got snatched up, and so I got it's, 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 somebody got to pay for that. You know what I mean? Somebody got to pay for that. Okay. We, we, you gonna be a scene about you know? So basically, that's that's basically what's going on through the, throughout the set. And so we had a couple of encounters, and it's cool, like I said. And I got, well, Uncle Jay got some bad um, security, you know what I'm saying? Like Women King, you know what I mean? They they get about their life. Like, you ain't got to have no big people, you know, so you got to have somebody to take care of the job, get the job done, so. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was cool. All right, all right, all right. And with, with that role, did you, did you, did you actually feel that role? Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just like because first of all, I'm an uncle myself. Any any role that I get into, I try to figure that person out, like see how it relates to me, or see how I can relate to it. So certain things, like I said, if you do, if you mess with my family, bro, I'm coming. I'm you gonna get seen about? Right. I'm um, now. I'm, Jay did, Uncle Jay did it a little bit different. But yeah, I, I'm most definitely going, you know, one way or the other. Now we're going to have to come to, come to some meetings, some oh, greetings. Deal, so, right, huh? Nah, I'll find it. We ain't, we ain't finna just let it go. Nah, they don't do that. Yeah, so I mean, like, I, I think about that because I'm an uncle. So, like, I try to relate that to, like, if somebody did something to my family, to my nephew, oh, man. Or oh, my niece. Okay. It's going to be some <laughs> problem. Right. It's going to be loud, too, though. Yeah. Mine, mine going to be loud. 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 Everybody know. Everybody going to know that. Everybody going to know. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. What was one of the, the, one of your favorite parts of the, the show Brotherly Love? I think it was, I think it was just the planning. You know, when when I come in and say, all right, man, this is what we're going to do. That just led up to, you know, because it's the plan first. You can't execute without a plan. So you have to put the plan down. And the fact that everybody was listening, they was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. You, you're going to listen to Uncle Jake because Uncle Jake going to tell you. So yeah, that was that loud, too. Yeah, very loud. <laughs> very loud. <laughs> We had to, we had to cut that a couple times. I, I wasn't I wasn't doing it quiet enough. It was too loud. But yeah, loud. you know sometimes you you, you got to get your point across with a a low tone. Yeah, and yeah. that sometimes uh, 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 give it more emphasis. Yeah, by no. it being low. Oh yeah, and not an angry tone. You know, right, right. Yeah. It's more direct. You know, and it's just like, um, you know, I ain't got to talk too loud because I need you to hear me like yeah. while I'm talking now you hear me as opposed to, I don't know I want to hear that yeah, you don't get all that all the time <laughs> right right right, <laughs> right so in in this role do you see a future in that type of that type of role or do you see something changing I think well like I said any character just like any person has to evolve, you know what I'm saying? So I'm qu quite sure the character will change, or, or not change as much, but the mentality or the way he moves might be a little bit different, you know? And as far as like that role, I mean, like I see myself in pretty much any type of role that, 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 uh, that allows me. Except, but now I ain't putting on no dress. I'm just saying that. Thank you. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. that. that that's going a little bit too far. No. What if that check was fire? Oh, no, nah, I still ain't doing it. I'm good. 
<laughs> I'm good, man. Listen, I, I I can make my own money. I can do my own thing, man. Like one thing you cannot take is my integrity, and you can't you can't pay for it. I mean, you know, and I'm not saying it, it. I mean that nobody else can't do it, but I'm just saying for me, what I'm not gonna do. You gotta have some standards. You gotta sit up there and be like, there are some places I'm not going. Some things I'm not doing. Yeah, and so. Yeah. Yeah. I put on the dress for it. So, well, you got a dress. <laughs> You're a woman. You're supposed to put on the damn dress every day. Hey, right, right. You put on a strap on. Oh, that check fine. Yes, I would. See, yes, she I all would. about the money. Oh, she all about yeah. the money. Money, money, money. I, d- I, I d- would. There's, money. there's some things that I will not do, and, and I will not put on no dress. I will mm-hmm. not cross dress, and you will mm-hmm. not see me play no gay role. Nope. Ever. Nope. I'm not gay. Nope. There's nothing wrong with gay people. I'm not gay. So I'm not going to play gay. It's acting. I don't give a it's fuck. It's acting. Yeah, but with, uh, again, like I said, I, of course it's acting. But again, you have to have standards for yourself. Like, again, there's certain roles that you can play. There's certain roles I'm like, like, let, let's say, again, if they offer me a role doing something like that, I'm like, okay, I'm passed. Because there's still going to be other opportunities. When you are an actor, you will find yourself in that lane. That lane will come to you. But you don't have to go to that extent to say, I'm an actor. True. So, shout out to J. Alphonse, because he played a hell out of uh, Lil Murder. But P. Valley, that role has pushed him to the forefront of doing other roles. And he is married with kids. Right. But he played a hell out of Lil Murder. Okay, look. What's a what's a little murder character? I didn't even see them. He's gay. He's on. He's um, but he's just not out. No, oh, okay. But he's a rapper, and he's doing his thing. But um, he's down low. No, yeah, okay. Well, see, there's a lot of them in Atlanta, though. So. It is a lot of them <clears throat> down low. I mean, but like I said, if me, you again, if and what you, what you're saying is is correct, but that's for him. Mm-hmm. I'm just, when y'all asking for me. I'm saying I get it. What I would do and what I wouldn't do. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and, and there's me, plenty of opportunities out there for everybody. That's that's not a situation that I will even let cross my path or, or cross the point to. Right. You ask me if I could do that, I'm gonna tell you no. Right. And it, that check big enough? I'll do it. Thank you very much. Well, Sorry. Get, you well get your check then. Get your <laughs> check. I'll yeah. do it. Sure that let, would. That let you I'll know be what Cleo. your standards are. I'll be Cleo. Sure will be. Let me let you know what your standards are. <laughs> well, see, with, with me, that's not happen. I'm not wearing your dress. I'm not kissing no damn man. I'm not well, playing that game. But hold on. That's my standard, but that doesn't mean my standards is less than yours because that's I, the tones you got. I you give and off. I, I see never. where your standards are, but that doesn't no. mean that my standard is just different. I'm just, it's just saying, different. That's I see where your standards are. My standard is to the point where I'm not gonna do that. Your standards are to the point where you would do that. Yeah, so that's, that's you. Right. Mm-hmm. That's you and your standards. Mm-hmm. Me and my standards is this. Mm-hmm. So I'm not that. You know, that just is what it is. Well, that's for sure. For sure. Now I get that Cleo check. Don't be looking this way. No, we we no, we we, 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 no, we gonna be with you, helping you spend don't the check now. No, nah, we we gonna, we gonna we gonna help <laughs> don't you get it. Don't be looking this way. I'm gonna help you gonna get the check. This is gonna be all about Cleo. No, I'm gonna yeah, help. I'm gonna help you yeah. get into your role. Right, exactly. To get your check. Exactly. What? We gonna okay. help you. That's just not a check that I will be receiving. <laughs> Yeah, we gonna be right there, girl. You, you, you look. You need me to braid your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we need to do to help you get that check, get, go and get it now. We gonna help you get. I'm it just. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the scenes, behind the camera, yep. <laughs> in the way far in the back. You want me? You want me to hold your coffee for you? <laughs> Drink. Stupid. Go get your food. <laughs> you right, snack, right. Man. I'll be the roadie. <laughs> I'll be your group, if baby. <laughs> <laughs> you be my superstar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That way. Yep. So <laughs> go ahead. Next question, mister. Hey. You got any questions? Mm-mm. Well, you well, ain't got wow. no questions about me? What? Oh, my Did goodness. Y'all, y'all don't threw me off with that one because I'm trying to be Cleo. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get your Cleo on and ask him some questions. All right, you know? right. So what's going on? What's going on? Let me get back to my camera. Ooh. With singing. 
Uh, oh, I'm glad you, you asked you, that. You said you're I'm glad you, our entertainer. Yes, ma'am. Because you used to go by just Derek the Entertainer. Yep. Which I prefer. But anyway, neither <laughs> here nor there. Um, so what's going on with other talents? What are you doing? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Well, I'm going on tour. Yeah. I just said it. It's official. I'm going on tour. This is uh, Libra season, so you know I got to go out show out and be in everybody's face. This is this is my time. This is what I do. So on uh next week, big lows, Wednesday night, karaoke, I'll be up in the building. The next day is gonna be um I'm gonna be going live with a live band. At Cats Cafe. So y'all come on out to the Cats Cafe. Come rock it with me on a Thursday night. Well, you going to Cats? Yeah, Thursday night. Okay. When did this happen? All right, well, go ahead. Yeah, this Thursday, this Thursday. Then Friday, I'm going to go just sit and chill and listen to some Night of Expressions. But at October 15, woo-hoo, oh, I, I'm coming for that money. I'm coming for that one for that first prize. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm back to singing. You know, like I said, I dibble and dabble over everything, so it's time for the singing to come back out. I did my little acting part. Now it's time to go to the singing part. So, yeah, okay. I'm performing, I'm going live, I'm going to be singing, I'm going to be bringing down the house. And I'm coming to get that money, October 15. Yeah, I don't see that flyer. That, it's right. the R&B Expressing, right? Something like that. R&B yep. Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Miss Entertainment, can you get them a little bit of insight on your events? Oh, I was getting ready to pass that torch on over to your ass. But- <laughs> Slapped you first. <laughs> So Tag, got, you it. I know, right? So we got the art. Well, up first, we got the Diet of Expression that is at Manuel's Tavern um, next Friday, September 30th, starting at 7 o'clock, where we have some amazing, amazing, amazing artists coming out there to spread their gifts of that verbal, whether it's singing or uh, um, spoken word or whatever the case. But it's going to be a night of nothing but pure expression. And then the what uh, October fifteenth, we got the R and B Passion, the experience, yeah. um, where we're looking for all you guys are talking about you missing R and B. This is your time. Come on, come on, come on. They can come participate. I, we need some people to participate. Well, we need some artists too. Yeah. You know, to yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. To know, participate. That's all. Because I, that first prize is mine. Because first prize is five hundred dollars. Mine. Cash. Mine. The night of. Mine. You yes, get sir. It right in hand. Oh, Mine. Oh, to your phone, whatever. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm and then ready. second prize is you get an end. No, uh, two two hour pre recording studio yeah. session. And then um, the third prize, you get interview. interview. So there it goes. Yeah. You get an interview on a worldwide radio station. Terradome Entertainment Radio. Terradome Entertainment. And you get your music played. You can be heard in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. You can be heard in Spain. You can be heard in wherever. Right. So right. get yourself signed up to win this $500. No. Somebody got to get, get it. yourself signed up to win the recording studio and session and all that. That 500, yeah. that 500 right. I just told you, the $500, $500 is mine. <laughs> hey. I'm, we looking for somebody to play. We second don't, place, we, we don't see man. nothing yet. <clears throat> it's all right. Five hundred dollars is in the app. People sign up. It's only fifty dollars to sign up. I tell you, man, I'm starting this week. I'm gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna be singing everywhere. I'm warming up. Okay. It's, it's, it's time for the lion to come back. Oh, oh yeah, so. alrighty then. <laughs> they must, yeah, look, look, look. I'm like, a, I'm like a Alan Iverson. Did, did they just forget? Yeah, yeah, I do know this just Derek, right? I do know Derek. Yeah, King. we forgot because we ain't seen it in a while. Yeah, okay. Well, it, uh, well uh, again, <laughs> I'm coming. Uh, don't worry. Oh, no, God, please, no. Don't worry. No. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, I'm coming. Hey, I'm coming. I'm, <coughs> I'm coming hard, too. Again, it's Libra season. Shout out to all them Libras out there. Libras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. All my Libras. Again, if you want to win this five hundred dollars, yeah. If you want to win this free hour, uh, free two hour studio session, that's your best bet. And 
the interview on the radio where you can be heard worldwide. That's your best bet. You might as well sign up for R&B Passion. Come on, yo. Come on. October 15th. Go to Eventbrite. 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 And even if you just like the sound of R&B, man, if you want that to come back, be in the building. That's only $20 a person to get in. Get in there. Hear some of this good music that's going to be going on. Uh, Tune out what's not too good. But listen to this good music by these great singers that's going to come out to this event. Man, and blow your ears off. We coming, y'all. We gonna Food move. and drink will be in the spot. Food and drinks in the spot, and you're going to have a live DJ. All right. So the music is going to be banging regardless. It's a you party. Did? It's a, it, man, look here, goddamn. Drinks in the air. Be in the building. Be everywhere. If you're not there... Go to sleep. <laughs> All right. So are we ready to move on to hot topics? Yeah, let's go ahead and slide over to the topics. All right. Let's get to these hot topics. So earlier this week, Shaka Zulu, Ludacris manager, was charged with murder for shooting for a shooting incident where he was also shot and sustained life threatened threatening in injuries right. now of course his lawyers say or claim it was self-defense now i did see the see the video and how, how, from that angle it looked like shaka was the aggressor uh so let, let's add that there to the, to the stream so i took some snapshots so at number one you see shaka uh got this dude hemped up <laughs> against the car probably the dude was talking shit Right. I'm more than likely he was talking shit. And then he's like, okay, nigga, what? So picture number two is what he didn't know is old dude had friends. <laughs> <laughs> he had friends out there. All right. So uh, Shaka is on the ground getting his ass stomped. Stomp. Yes, stomp. So, you know, as things start, you know, breaking up or whatever, picture number three is Shaka with his gun. Picture number four, Shaka shooting. He was the first one to start firing from the angle uh, that I was looking at. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. This is going to be something here because it didn't look good based on that angle from that camera. Um, Because, you know, it it seemed like he was aggressor. He got mad. So, like, oh, y'all going to stump me out like this? I got something for you. Wait, wait. I ain't even got to go to the trunk. <laughs> Here you go. So, he bust off a couple of rounds. Then he got shot in the back because he was shooting. So, somebody shot him. That's how he got shot. Mm. So, now, if there was a regular person, I think they will be going down. But being he's a celebrity All right. and everybody's coming out speaking up for right. him, mm. it's a 50-50. But based on that, in that picture, what do y'all other, see? What other, do y'all think? No, the other oh, part you gotta think about it. He got money too. He got good too? lawyers. We ain't, we ain't talking about no uh, uh, what, what you call them? Uh, public defender? <laughs> no, he right? got lawyers. So no. See, my that, thing is with that is if he would have pulled the gun out while he getting stumped and started shooting, then yes, he's he's trying to save his life. But once you get your ass up and everybody then walked away from you, then you come back shooting. That's uh, that's a problem. Th- yeah, that's a problem. But remember, we talked about this um, in previous shows because y'all y'all said if that person is running away, because y'all was y'all was adamant, uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh, you can't shoot him. He could be having a gun behind nah, him or we, whatever. No, nah, we was talking about that, that was a different scenario. Y'all yeah, yeah, was talking about it in the scenario. house, yes. but right. the people were leaving. They were running, and he, that's the problem. He it, yeah, they, they could uh, be they running, running away from to their car if they run. Excuse me. If they're running away from you and they back us to you, you cannot shoot them. That's what we was talking about if they were in the house because you were saying, oh, what if they uh, got a gun and going underneath like this? But I was like, they're running away. If, they, if you shoot them in the back, that's going to be a problem. My thing is, if you're running away, what I was saying was, if you're running away and you turn it and you're still shooting backwards – that person should still be able to shoot your ass because you still shooting at them. Agree, but if he's running away and he ain't shooting at you, he just running. You, you cannot shoot him. You can't. So that's why I said, based on that angle from that um, that particular video, it don't look good. Yeah, it, it, it does it not don't, look good. It don't. But, but I then, mean, but, so, but, but the thing is, it's like the video. 
they gonna always say the video don't tell everything. It ain't showing all of this. It ain't showing all of this. So they're that, gonna yeah. break down that video, but at the same time, Agreed. some of the, some of that video ain't even gonna be submissible. That's why, because it took. This was like a couple of months ago, right. so that's why it took a, a minute for the Atlanta PD to issue a uh, arrest warrant. Because people were saying, like, why are they gonna? Um, because even myself, because I, you know, I'm hearing the stories that he was defending himself, right? right? right. And it's like, right. how are you gonna issue an arrest warrant? So I said, you know what, got to be more, more to this to story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I researched and found the video, I was like, oh. <laughs> mm. Now the person oh, that no. now the person that shot him, he could have turned around and shot them, because yes. they they physically doing some shit to you. Right, right. They shot you, or they even aiming at you. They shooting you in your back. If you get a chance, you turn your ass around and you shoot them. Right. And now it, that's legal. Right. <laughs> but and, if people running from you, yeah. you're not supposed to be able to shoot them in the back. Police do it all the damn time. But anyway, but, but you, I, I, I was gonna the poli- say thank you, you the for police saying though. that. You ain't the police, so you can't get away with that shit. Yeah, they got a license to kill. Yes. At any given moment. So, yeah, that's like based on that interview, I mean, that video, I was like, ooh, I don't know. It could could work for them, and it could work against them. Oh, Um, no, because they even, you know, TMZ, they slowed (laughs) it down. Um, (laughs) And then they started putting... Little arrows and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. And so everybody's going to do that. They're going to break down that video to the, yeah. every millisecond, everything. Now, look at this right here. Freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame. They, they're going to frame it all out. Yeah. But then, like I said, one one lawyer going to argue this video is not submissible, it's not clear enough, it's, uh, you know, fog, all kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only from one diangle. Right, one, right, right. Yeah. So, yeah. They're going to find something. Yeah, they gonna find but yeah. Um, that that is the situation right. He's probably gonna he, have to pay the family. He, he should have. He, he, he should have started shooting while he was being kicked. The reason why I say that is because that's self defense. This nigga trying to stomp me out, right. and then it's multiple of them. Mm-hmm. They're trying to stomp yeah, me that's, out. That's, that's when I would have started shooting. Yeah, not when they gone running down the damn street, but when you in that that main from that that yeah, man fight. of yeah, of, of fight fight, or, fight fight or flight. You know. You don't give a fuck what's going on. Nigga, you trying to stump me out? You trying to kill trying me? To I'm finna kill you. Because you can kill somebody by stumping them. Yes, yeah. this is true. Head yeah. trauma. You kick somebody in the head and they you have a concussion. Multi- multiple people doing it, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they were stumping his ass out. I mean, all of them jumped right on in because one dude came behind him, boom. Mm-hmm. And the one that actually shot him right. came behind him, hit him. He got on the you know, he fell on the ground because he wasn't expecting that. Right, and right. then they just went in. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm yep. saying. Like Those niggas would have did that, that one, two times. They would have been shot twelve times. <laughs> that's a life or death situation, right there. Yeah, so you got it right to protect yourself. Whether right. you shooting, you stabbing, you balling up, you punching, whatever you're doing, yeah. you got a right to protect yourself. Yeah. But when Shaka got up, he's like, "Whoa!" Well, when I get up off this ground, <laughs> that shot ass. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Should have caught him one by ass. one. So he caught one of them. He shot one of them, or he shot multiple people. Uh, I, uh, according to, because they even got a nine one one call uh, recording, uh, about four people got shot. That that Dang. Night. Okay. yeah, one person died. There was one he died on scene. Oh wow! So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, see, yeah. and that's Love another him. thing. That's another thing of of people you having the wrong crowd around you because just because you got choked up. You still could have walked away from that alive. Right, right, right. But then you got these other people running in, stomping the man. You know that he's going to retaliate some way, shape, Dang, form, or fashion. All right. That's what I'm saying. What's the point in that? Right. First of all, if y'all like, going to fight, fight shit. Right. Don't, don't have and people come in and jump in. Right. Yeah, right. Let it be one on one. If you get if you lose, you lose. You live to fight another day. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how it used to be. Right. That's how Nine we, days, exactly you lose. Day. And the nigga think about coming back and get you again. You ain't gonna beat me all the time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot your no, ass. I'm one gonna time. shoot you. Yeah. That's all they want to do anyway. They they shoot first, shoot first. That's all they want to do. It's a bunch of kid shit, Sm- small minded, you know, yeah. people, and which is they, they yeah, us hands though, man. Us you know what I'm saying? killing it's each damn. other and expecting the white people not to. Now let's be clear, Shaka is not young. He's our age. Right. Shaka yeah. Zulu is our age. But he did that. But the if, right. if I'm thinking right, he did that because he was jumped by four people over a conversation, it seemed like. They were just having a conversation. 
Uh, that that the other dude probably was talking shit. I mean, because they were having a conversation, but Don Shaka Zulu put his hands on him. Like, what the fuck? What'd you say? I don't know. I'm just, I'm adding my Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Pushed him up, smushed him up against that damn car. And then his boy's like, what the fuck? And then they came in. Right. I'm going to do a, a Kevin Hart. <laughs> that seemed, like, again, that seemed like it's intentional. Like, it was a setup because, like, you don't automatically just want to jump somebody. You know what I'm saying? It, like, let, let, I mean, let's just say I'm out with my boys, and one of my homeboys is having a beef with somebody. It's a one-on-one thing. For, of course, I'm going to stand back and uh, survey the situation. First thing you got to do is look around you. Yeah, because just like how they came in, somebody can come in behind on you. So you need to look around where you at first and then figure out, listen, can we defuse this? Is this something that we can be settled? What's up? I would try to find out. They ain't look like they were trying to find out. They they were like they was ready for it anyway. So that's why I say it sounds like it looked like it's more like a setup. Could have been a setup. Could have yeah. been. Because I mean, you know, first of all, everybody knows who Shaka Zulu is. So you you know he's the type person that, but he don't walk around all flashy, but they know who he is because of his status. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, everybody gonna try to try you. If you if you you know what I'm saying? You're a hater and you ain't really got nothing going for yourself. Of course you're going to try to mess up somebody's, what they doing. You want to talk about how hard you are and things like that. that, that those type of situations happen all the time, the celebrities. And That's why you have why, security. Exactly. This right. is why you need security and you need to be able to walk away. Because right. some people get, and I'm not saying this about him, but, you know, some people, when you get to a certain status, you think you can't be touched. Right, right. And you always got somebody that's right. coming, coming for you. Of course. And then this is off the heels of what, uh, what's the name, PM, the, the dude that got shot, the, the, the yeah, rack up in Cali. Yeah. He yeah. got shot in uh, uh, at Roscoe's. Right. You know, it's like, it's it's open season on celebrities. So exactly. You, you, you got to be careful and you got to yeah. think. Yeah. And I know it's hard because I... I know that's why I try my best just to walk away because I I know when I get to a certain point that other personality come out and I can't control that personality. All right. So right. before I let that come out, let me walk away and get away from this. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's that's a good thing. And hopefully you don't go into the black because uh I'm the type of person if I go Ooh, into the black that's a wrap. That's ain't a, not a, a goddamn thing finna <laughs> stop me from getting to who I wanna get to. So Other than I, a gun the, and a bullet, and that's what happened. And that ain't going to stop me. I mean, right. unless it killed me, it ain't going to stop me from trying to get to you because I, right. I didn't had a gun pointed in my face and I was still going. Right. So I, I prayed not to ever get into that position. Yeah, when you get into the black, you just there's no there's no room for thought. It's really, it's just one target. Yeah. That's it. And consequences be damned, them. Yeah. Well, I don't even know what consequences is at that point. So it's just like, I mean, I could be waking up the next day, like literally like, oh, okay. Right. In, in, in the jail cell, but I'm going to be all right with it, though, if I, if I, if I accomplish my goal. If I didn't come to my goal, <laughs> then I'm pissed off. Right. I, right. I don't want. I saw Diablo <laughs> on Scare Straight, and I do not want to go to jail ever. <laughs> nowhere, nowhere near. If you go into jail, uh, mm, oh, when man. I come visit, yeah, but damn, man. Oh, you, <laughs> hey, Diablo man. scared the fuck out of me, and I'm watching her on TV. I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember her. I'm like, no, ma'am, no, sir. I'm you know, I did five years in the joint. Mm-hmm. I did five years. Of course, I was a correctional officer. But... I was like, you ain't never. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> look, I was locked up with years. them. I was locked up with them. <laughs> what do you mean? I was literally locked up. But you, you went home up, after you your eight home. to whatever nah, sometimes, hour. Sometimes not after eight. <laughs> like, if, if didn't nobody show up on the next year, guess who got to stay? <laughs> But, Me. but you still went home. Yeah, you was you able to do home. whatever the hell you wanted to do. You ain't had to go behind no bars. You ain't had to eat when they told you to eat. Then you ain't had to go wash your ass when they told you to wash your ass. You ain't had to watch your ass as you was washing your ass. There you go. Well, yeah. yeah. Cut them off. Mean, you know, I mean, in that aspect, but I still was locked up, dog. Uh, yeah. I was locked up, man. All right. Shout out to Metro. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so in other news, um, 
the child sexual abuse case against Tiffany Haddish and uh, Ari Spears. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but you know, it's, Ooh, it's, 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 it's uh, blowing up. There we go. Uh, uh, wrong one. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you know, it's been on, on the news and whatever. So, um, the case has been dropped with prejudice, which means that they can't file again. And this goes to speculation that they reached a settlement because the yeah. plaintiff did say, you know, they open for a settlement. So, and I heard allegedly that Tiffany paid out $5 million to them. Um, and then I saw an interview of her. She was saying that she lost everything, all her gigs or whatever right. has been canceled. You know, she got um, Girl Strip 2 coming up soon. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's coming up soon. So, Man, uh, y'all got to get that thing to get. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Girl yeah. Strip, they looking like. So, uh, so hold pizza. on, hold on. They find, they, they, they made her pay $5 million. What the fuck did they make Aerie Spears pay? Oh, he ain't got no he money. He ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better make his ass work to pay it off. <laughs> Do something. God he damn, ain't you got can't, no money. They can't just go after her. They, they going after the no money, money, They can't bro. just yeah. go after her. They going after the money. <laughs> I believe both, it, were, were na- both were named in the case, but she's the only one got money. Yeah, she's the only so one got to money. to make this shit go away, what do they want? Yeah. And she said, yeah. there it is. Which she probably should have done in the first place, because from what I yeah, under- she should have done that before. What I understand the the their original ass was maybe two hundred k. Oh, oh sh- <laughs> yeah, she should have been paid that money. Man, yes, they got some interest out there, but uh, like a major. <laughs> <laughs> that lawyer got paid. Yeah. Mm. They walk away with at least about two by the time the lawyer That's got because it wasn't a long case, you know, because it's just no. Nah, but but man, you paid that, that lawyer, you probably in the clear in taxes, you at least one, one and a half. Yeah, oh, clear. Yeah. Oh yeah, because because the lawyer gonna take thirty three, at yeah. least thirty three to they forty. They gonna take cut. <laughs> they gonna definitely to 40, take that yeah. cut. Yeah. But government see. gonna take their cut and buy. It. <clears throat> right, right. So they probably walked away with a clear meal. Right. I, I think she should have been fined something. Both of them should have been fined something. But I don't think that she should have been fined so fucking hard and he pays nothing. Well, like nothing said, at all. But if he ain't got, got, no got nothing to pay. I don't give a fuck. Mortgage, nah, he, he, uh, uh, take his house, take his cars, put his ass on the street if that's the case. Because you can't take from her what you can't take from him. And they both was in the 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 situation. So and what, he, he, used, to, he thought, used to get money. So he get, he got something. And if he don't got nothing, you go take whatever else the he hell else he got. He was on what? Bad TV and how long ago was that shit? Oh, it man. don't matter. He was he was right. he was a uh, uh, a stand-up comic too. I ain't right. never heard of Eric Spears until this bullshit came out. <laughs> he, 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 I, I've he never was a stand up comic dude. too. <laughs> Dang. Yep. But see, he, he, I guess well, that's he, what I'm saying. Like the only reason he's out now is because of that situation. And he he's a, he's on Glad TV now. He he uh, he talked about Lizzo. They ate him up for that. Oh, hold on. That, that's right. The Lizzo shit. That's when I heard of him. Right. And right. then right behind it becomes this this case. Right. That's about that. That's, that's because is. listen, they was coming for him, but Tiffany Haddish caught the backlash. Because this thing never would have came out if they didn't if he didn't come for Lizzo's fans. The fans looked it up. My thing they is looked this. it up. You know, like, it, you know, it, you know, your people that, that be supporting you, man. They, they that's they, showing that's showing him that. I mean, that's showing people that he was making some type of money. If he was on Mad TV or whatever the hell right. show that you just said he was on, right. he making some damn money. It ain't gonna be no five or ten dollars. I didn't say he had no money. But, well, I guess I did. He ain't got no money. But he ain't got a, a <laughs> Tiffany Haddish type of money. And, and I'm like, and if this, if because all this is alleged, we wasn't there. We're right. not there. But if if this was the case and he got maybe 100000 right? right? Tiffany got millions. To right. make this shit go away now, now, I'll pay it and then you square me up on the back end. But right now, I need this shit, shit to go away today. Right. That nigga ain't squaring shit. Probably look, not, but it, she needed to go away today because she's the one that's been uh, being affected much more than he is. Well, she got but, shit going on. He ain't got nothing popping. But now, like but, I said, nobody didn't hear shit about him until he started saying some shit about Lizzo. And you know, when you're on top, because Lizzo is doing her thing and she's right, on top, right, right. she was an easy target for him. Yeah. That's Let's what I'm see. saying. He, he's, he's one of those... <clears throat> 
This is one of those comedians that, that can't get five people in, into a, a, a comedy club. Like, you, you can't even headline your own comedy club. I ain't never heard of the dude until the Lizzo shit. Yeah. Like, who? <laughs> he's been out for a while. <laughs> but, no, he's not making Tiffany Haddish money, but whatever the hell he making, it should have been an equal opportunity for both of them to pay at the, at the same time. Because... But if he doesn't have, because we don't know his bank account, <coughs> say he doesn't have any any anything, but you know what the checks he got coming in is paying his bills or whatever, and, that, and he ain't got no what? no stuff, and, and he ain't that, got no that, ownership. There's a what way would you do? Put his ass in jail. There's not, how you gonna time. put him in jail? There's nothing <laughs> nothing going. It's not a criminal case. You're not going. Nobody going to jail. At least not at this point. We're trying to make a if, lawsuit go away. If. They didn't, uh, if Tiffany and her team did not pay the $5 million, they would have found some way to get some money out of her. Regardless, <coughs> excuse me, regardless if she paid them up front or not, they took all of her, all of her gigs away. She has nothing right now. Right. They, and then on top of that, she had to pay $5 million. So you got no job and no money. And this motherfucker still over here got a job, what job? with some damn money. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. He, he said that he's, he's going to start some making show. money anyway now because the okay, case we'll being see. cleared, right? We'll see. Because right now he ain't on shit. Right. He's he doing video. He, he, he on Glad he, TV. You, Glad TV, whatever it is. Bad, someone, whatever it is. That was an interview. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's all he does that's is interviews. Just, that's just and then, you're not necessarily getting paid for that. I'm talking about a job job where you got nah, constant income it. coming in. He ain't doing that. No, nah, he ain't doing that. He ain't doing that. Well, shit. He going to get paid for these interviews, though. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Well, like, maybe once... he'll run her some, some money, but from, I'm telling you, for me to just to stop the bleeding, and then I got it, right. then I'm going to stop this bleeding because right, it, it could continue, be the more people keep talking about this bullshit, right. the more worse people keep get. talking about this bullshit and affecting her shit. Right. Because she got more to lose than he do. Right. At the time they did it, it was the other way around. He was more popular because this has been years, uh, at least, I believe, seven years. But the, 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 the child, the boy was still a minor. <coughs> the other girl was not. There was two kids in there. Okay. So, I don't know. Shit crazy. <laughs> Pretty much. Crazy, 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 crazy. And crazy. Yeah. All right. That's all I got for uh, my hot topics. Hot topics. So, we can move on to what we going to do. Yeah, yeah, what we going to do. I know, right? Uh, did you know? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In this segment, we celebrate and acknowledge African American and their contributions to making this country great. So February is Black History Month, but we celebrate Black History on our show every week. And as an extra bonus, this is the start of Libra season. Yeah. So no. The best sign, Libra's Libra. in the house. No. Oh yes. So. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, yes. No. oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving so, on. So, um, one of my favorite Libras is Mr. Clifford Joseph Harris Jr., better known as T.I. or T.I.P. However you want to call it, but he's a rapper, record executive, actor, activist, philanthropist, comedian. And the list goes on and on. So he's done it all, worked with just about everybody. And the one thing about Tip that I truly admire is he doesn't talk about it. He goes, he goes, he goes and get it. He he's always been about his grind. So today, Ti, we celebrate you and your contributions to making this country great. Tip is that ick factor, and so. Hey, congratulations. Now, I would say the one thing about him that um, when I first saw him in a Bone Crusher um, video. Um, video or record or whatever, Never Scared, I knew right then that this, he had it. He was going to be a mega, mega star because mm-hmm. he had it. It was, it, was, it was the look and the attitude. You know, because they say so they I, say light skinned niggas ain't scary, 
and and and, and light skinned niggas is is inferior to dark skinned guys, but not always. I would consider Tip light. I think he's brown, but I don't know about light. But Tip okay, is the same color as me. Uh... I've I've been in the studio with him. Tip is the same color as me. You What's can you can, dip. <laughs> you can you can have your lips all twisted up. I, I've been in the studio with him, so Tip is the same color as me. I, I know this for a fact. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> hey, stay on dick. Do y'all have any favorite Tip videos or moment or whatever? Because I know. You, well, how about you tell us about your interaction with him in the studio? It was really quick, <laughs> quick than a mug. Actually, I went to, I forget the studio, but I was doing an internship at uh, one of the uh, labels down here. And I went to the studio and he was he was coming in the door and the, the label owner, you know, kind of introduced us or whatever. And he went in one studio and I went in the other one. So we didn't have no real big interaction, but we, the, I guess the closest we got was shaking hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to you figure did. out. It's a, it's a, it's a lot of songs. But I'm trying to figure out which one. But man, one of them. All I know, I think. Let me see. Uh, what's the? I think that's the one. You can have whatever you like. Mm -hmm. No, my best song from Tip is uh, "Sorry." The one with him and Andre 3000. Oh, man. man. You only like that because he got shitted on. No. <laughs> no, I liked it because of the flow was right. And, and yes, Andre did shit on him. And he even said it <laughs> himself that Andre shitted on him. That he wanted to go back and redo his verse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Andre is like, man, that's why he called himself 3000. We still in 2000. <laughs> we 2022. Yeah. He in 3000. So. Yeah, he, he said the reason that he ain't out right now is because of, the, the music is just the same. Everybody's doing the same shit. That's the reason there's why he no, should be out. Cause there's I, no, no, no. You, you can't pinpoint a difference in anybody's music. Oh, of course not. Okay. The only ones that you can kind of pinpoint is J. Cole and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Everybody else on the same shit. I ain't stuff. Money. Sex, cars, and shit like that. I got hoes, all that type of shit. Yeah, I would. I would say everything is is along the lines of similar. You either talk about money or I. I, I guess in in I, I think it also comes with the era that we grew up in. You know, for is when hip hop was really at right. its finest. Right. Because we we come to hip hop when you had. Let's go back to a Nas. Right. Or, uh, you know, they had that concert last night. I ran into that. I didn't even know. <laughs> Nas. <coughs> um, was that? Uh, Wu-Tang. Even before that. Um, Buster, oh, man. Curtis Buster. No, I ain't going to go back that far. LL Cool J. Uh, Tupac. These are what, the brains. What's the one that's the Break walking up, dictionary? Uh, I can't think. Of KRS, KRS one. one. KRS one. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, look, you got to say no more. Man. Yeah. Everybody know that. You know? <laughs> be like, yeah, no, man. I yeah. mean, that's... you got to literally get a book. And be like, I did. Me... I was like, what the fuck? I had to get a dictionary yeah. back in the day. I know people don't do that anymore. <laughs> nah, that's when you had nah. actually had a book with a whole bunch of words and definitions <laughs> in it <laughs> that yeah. you had to look up to find out what the hell is well, that you word. Can Google that's it because, now. Yeah, hip, <laughs> hip hop, hip hop taught you something. Yeah. Went back in those days. That was the key you, word. Hip. It, it taught you how to to uh, navigate through ghetto, right? You know, w well, what people call ghettos, and it, and it and it taught you what was in this person's mind when he reacted to this, or how he reacted to that, or why he reacted to that, and this is what's going on in my life nowadays. It's just everybody life is about making money and, and fucking hoes and <laughs> right. getting cars right. and shit like that. Because the girls and all are talking kind about of diseases. The girls are talking about how how great they pussy, pussy is, yes, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. and get money from so, niggas. Yeah, yeah, and get and money I can from blow niggas. it like a trumpet, and I can suck a watermelon through a straw. Yeah, so bitch, if you can suck a watermelon through a straw, then goddamn it, you need you. you need <laughs> but like I said, I mean, like one of my favorite songs, and still to this day, should be anybody's favorite song, rap song. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. <laughs> I'm That's trying. Good. 
Like I tried my best not to lose my head this afternoon when early today in that traffic. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to go back. Nuck if you fuck, <laughs> if you fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love if you're outside pack. of the club, <laughs> you think I'm See, a if, it, if me, my favorites no. was Busta Rhymes, Outkast, Twister, and Tupac. Oh, yeah. I think them are some of my my top. Oh, not top. Yeah. Now that's different. Yeah, <laughs> you're talking yeah. about you know songs, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, top like top artists. Yeah, it was them bust the rounds because when he first started on his single thing, yeah, a lot of artists didn't want to fuck with him because of how right. he was. Right, he right. was screaming yah 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 yah, all that type of shit. But it also led him into a different realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those lane. those people that didn't want to fuck with him before. They was wanting to fuck with him now. Right, right. Cause cause P. Diddy did him like that. He wanted to do a track with Diddy and, and Diddy didn't want him didn't want to do it because of how he was with his rap. But then once he once it caught on to every damn body, he wants to jump on the track with him. Well, well that's how that normally goes. People ain't checking for you, but they ain't checking for you. Right. <laughs> but mm-hmm. when you get hot, then everybody want a piece. Right, right. Yeah. Back then, piece. they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all up on me. Mike Jones. <laughs> Mike now Jones, see, where you at? <laughs> now, see, Mike Jones, was. It's like seemed like every two bars, he was saying his name. Yeah, it, 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 everybody know his name. Mike Jones. <laughs> if you don't know nothing else, you know Mike you Jones. You know Mike Jones. <laughs> crazy. Perfect marketing. Crazy. <laughs> you know, there you go. He knew what he was doing. Crazy. He knew what he y'all, was doing. Y'all on, the, on this live right now, man. Tell me who y'all top five is. Give me that. Give me that. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead on and start go ahead on and start closing out the show. And let's go ahead on with my last one. All right. Check your truth. Check. Check. All right. Check your truth. This segment is where I take the time to exhale and what? Blow this shit out. Blow it out. All right. Oh, I miss Staying that. on your grind. The one thing, like I said before, I truly admire about Tip is his grind. Now, even though he has made some bad calls and some mistakes, he did not let that detour him from keeping it pushing. So these days, people have set back or two, and then they go into this war is me moments. I, I, I say as long as, or also what DJ Talented always says, that you're above ground and not below, mm. you have the opportunity for change. Life is not going to go your way all the time. And some may say it's not going their way most of the time. But I challenge you, I challenge those to think about what are you doing to personally make the change? Now, you know, I I would say that I'm in therapy now and due to some things that has happened and my husband said, now look crazy, you need to go sit on somebody's goddamn couch. <laughs> hey, that's cool, though. Man. For real, no. Like, like for real, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. So now, and reluctantly, I made the first step of receiving counseling again. And one thing I learned this week is some of my behavior is due to years upon years of trauma that I've suffered. So, you know, as your president of the Real Ass People Society, life Plug. is, is what? Plug. <laughs> oh, well, I, you know, I'm the president. So <laughs> as your president again of the Real Ass People Society, life is going to always be a roller coasters of ups and downs. But the question is, what are you going to do during the downs always know you are not alone in your struggles there are people here to help but at the end of the day you are the only one responsible for achieving your destiny so brush that dirt off of trials and tribulations brush that off your shoulders get up and achieve something so god bless you and these United States of America. You dig? Well, my, my, my claps, please. That's why I gave you claps. You know you got them claps. <laughs> claps right there. So, and that is my check your truth. So before I turn it back over, let's have some words from our sponsor. Pterodon Entertainment. We turn your fear of dreaming into amazing realities. 
If your dream is to become a photographer, we have a nice intimate photo studio just for you. If you want to record that next hit song or do voiceover work, we have a state-of-the-art studio also for you. If you want to professionally record your own podcast, well, we have that too. Check us out at www.teradonentertainment.com. We are the only ones to turn your fear of dreaming into amazing realities. All right. Look at that. He done caught him turn. <laughs> <laughs> I think she be doing it on purpose. Yeah. I think she be doing it on purpose. <laughs> Look here, woman. All but right. that sideburn is going through, man. Yeah, boy. You know. <laughs> All right. Turn it back to you for some final thoughts. Now, I am just want to comment on, on, on the, uh, the, the last thing that you was just saying. I have a person that I work with that do a lot of what was me type of shit. Right. And then make everything seem like somebody's arguing at them, and 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 fussing with them about nothing. There was a, well, I drive. I'm a spotter. Let's just say it like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's a couple of us out there. One guy one day uh, pulled a trailer and and put it on the door. He put it on the wrong door. And another one of the guys just just drove up to him and said, "Why why are you putting that on this door?" It's, it, it's not supposed to go on this door. Well, you don't tell me what door I should be putting it on. But then tells everybody that the other guy was cussing him out. <laughs> <laughs> or he's the type of person that throws a rock and hides a hand. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, look, ain't nobody fussing at you or nothing. And I actually got into it with the guy once before. And he, and, and, I was just asking why you didn't get the paperwork that we need because he was the first one there. Oh, he ain't got no sound. He stands there. Everybody been on and off, but go ahead. Sorry. Uh, what? I don't know what happened. So we uh, they said I don't, we ain't got no sound. Do we got sound now? I don't know. They said on the on uh, thing. It, it, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that they could see or they can hear now. There was a button that was supposed to be pressed that <laughs> we did not get pressed. So we do apologize for you not being able to hear anything that we said. Well, the whole what show was that. The whole, the whole show. show. <laughs> oh wow! So, uh, hey. wow. Okay. Those who are commenting on the sound, I'm sorry. I do apologize. Well, I repost it because we should have it um, recorded. Recorded. So I, I repost it. Sorry about that. Yeah. But, but, but we gotta make sure we can push. I should say that. That just that just mean I need to do another interview. I don't think they heard me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in that situation, man, you, you you can't you can't be that type of person that the woe is me. Everybody's always coming down on you. Look in the mirror and see why they're coming down on you. There's there's something that you're doing to cause people to come down on you. Even if they actually not coming down on you, they're just trying to help you out. But you see it as aggression. Right. Anybody say anything to you, you see it as aggression. Look in the mirror and check yourself. You better check yourself. Now, with that being said, (laughs) with that being said, we're going to go ahead and smash this thing out. I know y'all can hear these last couple minutes. (laughs) Um, (laughs) You might might want to slap them back. Thank you. Slap the screen a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, We we, we do apologize about that. Uh, uh-huh. don't, just don't slap me. Slap them too. <laughs> not me. Uh, you the engineer. Huh? Now, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> now, nah, I ain't the one that's switching the camera. What All this right? camera got to do with sound? Because <laughs> the box that you touch it has an on and off button for your mic. Hmm. I ain't go all the way up your there. Your mic sound hey. nice. No, Check one. No, no, anyway. No. Ooh, wee. Anyway. <laughs> I no, smell the no, ugly no, coming. No. <laughs> I, hey. I am not taking that because hey. he is the engineer. Hey. I'm the engineer. I got the sound module. The sound module. Uh, goes why into, we do a sound to check? If, if, we what, did what, do a sound uh, check. Uh, uh, anyway, you know what? Moving. You know what? Keep them moving. Yeah, we're gonna fire somebody on their day off. <laughs> fire yourself. Fire yourself. <laughs> fire yourself. But anyway, peace. Check out the R&B Passion on Eventbrite. Yeah. October 15th. Yeah. Get your chance to win $500. We're 
win a free studio session. That was how I got a chance. To and uh, 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 interview to be heard around the world with your song being played. Also, don't forget to check out uh, uh, what's the, what's Night the of the Expressions going on from the Night of Expressions on the thirtieth. Night of so, yep. the Night of Expressions on September thirty. It starts at seven o'clock. So try to be there by six fifty, or you ain't gonna get no seat, man. They ain't lying. They get packed up now. This thing has been getting overfilled. People just standing up. Yeah, you did. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get yourself there. Yeah, be in the building. Contact with some people networking. That's all this this entertainment company is networking. Entertainment business is networking. Knowing who, know who, who know who. You dig? Yeah. So again, I'm DJ Talented. To my right, I have Derek King. That's my left. <laughs> but you pointed over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look. And what he's when he just talking about some they hitting the right look, signal and turning left. Look, hold on. Oh, <laughs> I did. Threw me off. It threw me off what? too. Guess what? I got <laughs> thrown off because she said she get thrown off from the left and the right, and I just went this way and was saying this way. Oh man, my bad. Tell y'all, it's married. entertainment, y'all. Tell y'all, man. <laughs> it's entertainment to the right and to my left. It's Derek King, man. It's Derek King up in the building. All uh, right, and stay tuned for Brotherly Love. That will be coming out very soon. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And I want some payback from that queen, though. And Damn. we already got seen, the, uh, not scene three, but episode three Okay, written up. So get ready to record some damn more. Let's go. We plan on getting that done by the end of this year, no later than the first of next year. Let's get it. So, Miss Entertainment, anything else? Nah, let's get on out of here. I can re- rebroadcast this. <laughs> no sound yeah but uh anyway this has been another episode show of the real the raw and, and the, the motherfucking, motherfucking reggae. Reggae. stay tuned saturdays 12 noon we were just a little bit late this year this <laughs> yeah we have to worry about the other people yeah all right shout out to the lee bros there you go. Yeah, we out here. All right. We give you the real, like we pop in a red pill. Hey, it's time for acting. It's like camera action. Real life is a script. Real talk is what it is. Enlighten your experience. Get back at it again. I tell you, you can't filter it. It's wrong. Uncut, no